Hi, my name is Julianne Yeo, and I am here with Storybook Yoga, Balanced Minds and Bodies. I opened up a children's yoga business because I think it's so important for children to have the opportunity to learn yoga and other mindfulness activities that they can do to help in daily life. I also was an educator for 18 years and found it very helpful in the classroom with my students. They enjoyed it, it gave them a nice brain break. So today I'm gonna to walk you through a few fun yoga activities that you can do with your child and it's fun when the parents and children do it together. So find somewhere comfortable, carpet, floor, and let's get started. So we're first going to go ahead and sit down, crisscross applesauce in sit pose. And we're going to start with a fun little song that I like to sing with my students. And it goes to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. So just join in. If you're happy and you know it, show namaste hands. If you're happy and you know it, show namaste hands. If you're happy and you know it, and your hands will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, show now with the hands. Wonderful. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our bodies ready. So we're going to make sure we're sitting up nice and straight. So go ahead and bring those shoulders back, opening up your heart. Bring your hands to heart center. We're going to count to three and then we'll begin with Namaste. Here we go. One, two, three. Namaste. Excellent job. Okay, so now we're going to go through a few yoga poses that we can do and have fun with animals. So we're going to go ahead and start by standing up tall. And we're going to come to the edge of where we have the most area to spread out. And we are going to walk our hands down. We're going to come all the way out because we're getting ready to be a snake. So we come down and then we lower our body. We straighten our arms and we hiss like a snake. <gasps> so we can call this cobra pose or also upward dog. So let me hear your good hissing. And then from this, we can go into table. And table helps us go into another animal that could be a pet and purrs. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to show cat pose. So for cat pose, you want to bring up your tummy, suck your tummy in, suck the air in, go ahead and look through your legs and let me hear a meow, meow. Now from our cat pose, we can go into that other furry pet that we could have at home who sometimes says woof woof. So we're going to go into dog pose downward dog. So curl your toes, push back into your heels, make sure your head is off of the mat. Your head should be in between your arms and just go as far back as your body can go. If it starts to hurt, then go ahead and stop or loosen up and bend your knees. So this is downward dog. Sometimes our dog gets excited and starts running away. Arf, 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 arf. Or we can be a three-legged dog. We can put up one leg put it down and put up the other leg. So we've gone over three animals so far. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a lion's roar. So come down on low knees. We're gonna count to three and I'm gonna hit my lap for the count of three and then we'll come back up and we will do a roar. So here we go. One, two, three, and then come all the way up, roar. Let's do it one more time so you can be ready with a big roar. Here we go. One, two, three, roar. Awesome, I hope you're having fun during our animal yoga. We will do a few more poses and then we're gonna go ahead into the rest part of the yoga, which is very nice for us to teach our bodies how to rest and work on some fun breathing. So, Another animal that we're going to do is one that could live on a farm in a barn and wear shoes. So we're going to do a horse pose. So bring your body up like this. Bring up your arms. Your hands are clasped together and let me hear a... 
a great way to stretch out your hips. Switch to the other leg. Awesome. We're gonna end with our animal poses by doing a silly one, but it feels so good. We're gonna lay on our backs and we're going to be a pig in the mud. So go ahead and grab your ankles and let me hear a nice little as we are a pig in the mud and we're rolling from side to side. They also call this pose happy baby pose. All right, friends. So another important part of yoga is learning how to focus on your breathing. And one breathing game we can play together is by sitting up nice and straight, taking your hands and putting them underneath your chin. And when we breathe in through our nose, it's gonna push our elbows up. And then we, when we let the air out of our mouth, it's going to bring our elbows back down. So let's go ahead and take a big breath in through our nose. And now we're gonna let it out slowly of our mouth. Awesome, let's try that again. Breathe in through your nose and out of your mouth. Wonderful job. Another way to think of our breathing is thinking of a balloon. And one quick technique that we can do is blow up a balloon. So put your hands next to your mouth. Take a big breath in through your nose. And then we're gonna blow our balloon out. We made it so big that we're floating and floating. Wonderful. So now I would like for you to go ahead and lay down and get in a nice comfy spot so we can do a little guided resting. So first place your hands on your belly. We're gonna breathe in. And when we breathe in, we're gonna fill our belly or our balloon with air and it's gonna push up my hands because I'm gonna fill it with air. Here we go. And then we're gonna let the balloon go or let the air out of our mouth as our hands come down. Let's go ahead and do that again. You're inhaling through your nose and filling up your balloon belly. And then we're letting it all out of our mouth. Wonderful, keep breathing. Think about how relaxed your feet are, your toes, how it's nice to have time to relax, but not go to sleep. Although sometimes you can get so relaxed, you might fall asleep. Just taking a minute to think about how you work hard every day, whether it's your job, school, a sport, and that you want to take time to tell yourself that you are a hard worker, that you are proud of yourself, good to take some time to give yourself some love. All right, friends, we're going to go ahead and bring our knees to our belly, our stomach. We're going to rock them gently from side to side. And then we're going to go ahead over on our side. And I like to bring my arm over like a pillow. And we will gently come up on our back row. And then our two arms. And then we're gonna stretch all the way back to sit pose. So remember when we get into sit pose, we normally have a curved spine, but we wanna make sure that our spine is nice and straight, as straight as we can get it. Let's bring our hands to heart center and we will end our yoga the same way that we started. I'll count to three and we'll end with namaste. One, two, three, Namaste. All right, friends, you did a wonderful job. And normally our yoga sessions are a lot longer, but I just wanted to take some time today to do a little yoga with you. And maybe you can use some of these strategies when you're at home.